Boy, we live in a very interconnected country today. You can travel on the interstate from one state to another very quickly in your own automobile. Well, what about if you're working for an employer who hires you in one state, but you work in another state? What kind of laws apply? Well, that brings us to this week's case. It involves California case, California company, Oracle. Oracle was employing people who were principally living outside the state of California. Every once in a while, they'd come to California for training and various other things at the Oracle campus. Well, that group of people who principally lived outside the state of California were doing work outside the state of California argued that the California labor laws applied to them, particularly with regard to overtime. Oracle said, no, 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 does not apply because you guys live outside the state of California and that's where you do the majority of your work. Well, this case went to trial. It was then appealed. It went up to the California Supreme Court. California Supreme Court came down saying, here's the deal. The legislature passed these laws to protect California employees, and if somebody is working in the state of California, they are also protected under these California labor laws. That means that if you occasionally are visiting the state of California and you are working for a California employer who's in the state of California, the labor laws apply. And even though you're doing the majority of your work outside the state of California, makes no difference. California labor laws apply. Okay, so what's the point of this case? Is it a big deal? It is a big deal. Here's why it's a big deal. Because many states, particularly in the Midwest and on the industrialized East Coast, have laws that are more favorable to employees. So if you find yourself in a situation, you're living in Arkansas, you're working for a company that's basically based in Michigan, Illinois, New York, and occasionally you go there for training or other purposes, well, guess what? You can argue, and this California case says you can argue successfully, that the laws of that state, which might be more favorable than the southern state in which you live, actually apply. Okay. So why do we bring you these cases? We bring you these cases so you understand how the law works, and we do it every week. We do it every week so you understand how the law works and how to make it work for you. I'm David Allen.